with Ash right now from the Revolution Fight Team out on Langley. Um, who is your opponent tonight? I'm fighting Jonathan Dubois. Jonathan Dubois, and have you seen his fights from the Red Robinson tournament? No, I haven't, but I used to train with him back in the day when I was 19 at Franco's. Oh, nice. So what can you tell us about that? How is that going to play into today? I don't really remember, but I just remember suplexing him on his head a bunch of times. There you go. So, so that's got to help the confidence coming into the fight tonight? I'm usually pr I'm pretty confident about any fight I do, right? I train hard. I'm with Rev now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, well... From what I've seen from you in training and stuff like that, you look vicious on your stand-up. So, are you going to be trying to keep this fight standing? I'm going to keep it standing, but you know, if he tries to take me down, you know, I'm going to stuff it. And if he's on his back, I'll jump on him. I have pretty good base in jiu-jitsu, but I want to stand up while he's in the so. so, another question a lot of people have is, uh, what do you walk around at? Seeing that you cut down to 175 or 170, it's kind of... I walk around 190. 190 or so? Yeah. Solid 190 there, right? Because a lot of people were surprised that you were fighting on 175, 170, including myself. <laughs> right? When I saw you in training, I was surprised that you were you were making it down to that weight class. Hey. Now, if you get a win tonight, what do you see next for you? It doesn't matter as long as I'm fighting, but I think I deserve a title shot if I go through this guy fast. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this guy train. Unbelievable skill. This is one of the promising guys from Revolution, and I can't wait to see this guy. Have a good fight. Jonathan Dubois, uh, he's going to be fighting Ash tonight. Uh, so what do you know about Ash right now coming into this fight? Uh, really, I've known him oh, wow, a while ago. Uh, I've trained with him, instructed him for a while. We've been sparring partners for a while. At the so you said you instructed him? Yeah. So, so you taught him? A little bit. Okay, so when, what I, when I was at a certain martial arts school, I basically was, you know, <laughs> was teaching classes to and helping out classes and you know I'd help out people. Okay. And then he was my sparring partner a lot because you know he was a very big boy. Mm -hmm. very big. And uh, <laughs> good thing is, is that you know I was able to I was the one there that was able to you know put him up for a good draw. So the good thing about it is you know what I like is uh, four years ago that's the last time I saw him. You know he's much the same bigger though. Yeah. Looks a little bit more meaner. But, you know, people who know me, I don't care, you put it like anybody, I don't even care, you put Brock Lesnar in front of me, I'll still fight the guy, I don't give a care. My main goal is to entertain the crowd, have a fun, show them who the Pitbull is, and basically... The Pitbull, so that'll I'm be your nickname, you're the you're Jonathan, the Pitbull Pit Dubois. Very good. Okay, we're really sorry, but we nicknamed him Mighty Mouse from the side of the last thing. Yes, that one right there. <laughs> nice. But that, that one was due to Franco, so that's why I got that one. <laughs> This is my new one right there. Of that's, course, that's me now. Yeah, yeah. When you're about my height, you know it's all good. I'm always, the, I, I'm always the shortest fighter, but I'm always the underdog. So you know, that's why the pitbull was great for me. You know, exactly. I can take a hitting, I can deliver a hitting, and uh, I just like to do this just to entertain the crowd. So would you say that there's a mutual respect between you and Ash coming into this fight, or is there some bad blood, or because up the weigh-ins, it was kind of, you know, you know, I don't know if that was entertainment purposes or if they're always trying to stir something up. I have no bad blood with anyone. Okay. Like, I don't care. Someone could spit on me and all that. I show respect to everybody. Right. The main thing is with me is I like to bring uh, respect and dignity and all that to the art of martial arts. My goal is to entertain the crowd, show people that, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are, how short you are, how stock you are, whatever. It doesn't matter if open, whatever. You can do so much yourself in life. And I look at it like this, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life and going through this is just another chapter in my life and I'm hoping that every time I fight that I can encourage other people, down the road fighters or whatever, to um, step in there and be the heart of the warrior. That you know you can face at where you're gonna fight and just look at it as just something that you gotta do. Wise words of a true martial artist. So uh, roughly how long have you been training for? Uh, I've been training for about 20 years. Now these days, you know, I'm uh, I'm training at a, a very good camp right now, um, Revolution. Uh, that's where he's training out too. Uh, very good school, very respectful. Uh, they're helping me out with a few little games I did. Um, right now, I'm tonight. I'm finding out a Columbia Martial Arts, which is my old school, which uh, you know, with a lot of my um, styles, technique, and brought up a lot of other things that I need to work out to make me as a better fighter. My last fight I fought. Um, yeah, I haven't done that. You had Robinson fight. Yeah. Yeah, that was a tournament. Do you have was any tournament. preference between tournaments, single elimination, or Um, I, I didn't really mind, actually. That was my first time going into uh, something like that. Well, I did tournaments, 
now represented Canada before, and this was kind of new. It was just like another step, right? So when I had to go in there in a casino on a ring, face a guy, different guys, because everyone's fresh. So it's kind of get to push yourself a little more, right? And it got me to work on some skills that I needed, that I wanted to work on myself. So as I was fighting, uh, first guy beat him. Second guy, I was just like, oh my god, this guy's a giant juice monkey guy. And I was just like, ooh, I didn't know if I was going to do him, but you know so Did that, went through him. I'll be facing him again in boxing you know, on the 10th. And uh, that's going to be a good show. And then, um, then I got uh, another big guy. So they always like to throw the big guys against me, so I don't mind. Uh, the only thing I can say is, leave them coming to me. And you got a name? Fight, well, when you got a name like the Pitbull and, and, and Mighty Mouse, you know, they're, they're definitely going to be winging themselves at you. So as we can see, Jonathan, he's already planned for the next little while, so promoters, you might have to wait till the New Year's to book this guy for another one. This guy's like a concert date, man. You guys gotta get on it. There's Bieber Fever going down over here, right? Alright, Jonathan, it was good to meet you. Take care, man. Have a great fight, you guys. Oh, yeah.